So here's one of the mini glitches that you get with the Mac Mini, the M1. And the thing is, like I said before, I don't, I don't, this type of stuff right here is not a big, big deal. It's definitely not a deal breaker. But I still think that Apple should have given people a beta discount. Like this shit is beta, beta. Like for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, see, shit like this, it gets to a point where the only fix for it would be to reset, restart your own shit. Now, mind you, it's been a couple of days since I've had any glitches, um, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and restart this. I was working on a lot of stuff, had a lot of drawings up and what have you, and um, I have to, um, <clears throat> I have to restart this shit. And saving some of this stuff is either difficult or not possible. And um, so you see, Got to restart the whole shit. Um, there you go. So, yes, I think that when you decide or you make a decision, if you're going to buy the M1, any M1 Mac, just know you're spending, even though it's cheaper than other Macs, it's still you spending top dollars for a product that is a beta. It is not in full swing. It is not ready to be in full swing. And I think that's where Apple kind of beats you over the head. I still would rather pay for this than to pay for uh, um, uh, 2019 MacBook Pro. That is, first of all, I'm good with stick, staying away from um, Intel. Intel, <clears throat> Intel is not meant for what I'm trying to do because Intel is very experimental as well, I feel. And especially Intel on the Mac is extremely experimental. Um, they just have their shit together better than the M1 in, as far as longevity goes, as far as been dealing with this shit goes. But um, I don't think that Intel fits my my narrative, you know, at all, how I'm doing things. That's the first thing. Second thing is, um, this is beta. You know, the M1 is beta. It's, it's a way for you to get a Mac at a beta, uh, a beta, Sorry, it's a way for you to get a Mac at a lower price point, but it's still, I think the price point should be lowered even more because, you know, they're, they're not selling it as as beta. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to sell it as a finished product, and it's definitely not a finished product. Is it worth it? To me, it is because of my situation and what I'm going to do, and that I do prefer um, uh, OS X versus uh, Windows shit. Um, but it's it has this little it has this thing you know what i'm saying it has this points where you got to really think about whether you want to fuck with it or not um that's why i have the gaming pc here that slash backup you know um this works just as well but this works better you see what i'm saying like first of all i do only use final cut pro i don't use uh premiere but on a pinch i would use the finish da vinci resolve on this and this is still faster even DaVinci Resolve is faster on this too. But, um, so during the day, I usually fuck with only the Mac. I only use the Mac. And in the evening when I broadcast and I'm gaming, I use this. Um, it's, you know, this is just how my situation is. Your setup don't have to be the same way. Um, you don't, I, I think if you can wait for the um, M2 chip, you know what I'm saying? That'll be a little bit more structured, something that, and not even the M2 will also be beta in my eyes. You know, that whole, this whole thing right now, we're all guinea pigs and it's up to you. You know, you, you, everybody who's buying it is grown. So it's up to you whether you want to fuck with it or not. I choose to fuck with it, but my day sometimes can come off very, very sketchy because when I'm doing a long project or I'm drawing or whatever it is, you get frustrated, man. Thank God I, I just started with my artwork for today. And again, it's whatever day it chooses to do it. It just happened to be today for me. But um, the other day, it wouldn't save. I couldn't save any of my joints. So I had to, what I did was instead was I, um, I iCloud it. It did save on the iCloud. So I saved it on the iCloud, which I don't like to save major projects and shit on the iCloud. Saved it on the iCloud. Turn the computer off, turn it back on, and prayed and wished that it showed up, which it did. So, 
and it, it, and it also saves here too. I just put the iCloud technically as a backup, but when I guess when I shut it off, it automatically just saved it. It's either that or Clip Studio Paint just does that. And I think Clip Studio Paint just does that. It just saves, or it might be any other software. I never noticed, you know, but I, what, what I did notice is years ago, shit did not save automatically. Anyway, this is my on the fly rant slash review of the M1. I think that it is a great starting point for someone who has absolutely no Mac in their life right now, but want it is good because it's like it's it's priced cheaper than av the average Mac, and it's actually faster and better than the Intel versions. But it's beta; they need to sell this shit as beta. They need to uh, uh, advertise it as beta. This is not a finished product at all. It has its issues, which you guys just saw that I just put. I right, like I told you, uh, my reviews are going to be just a little bit different from others in the fact that I don't sit there and tell you all types of spec out shit and this, that, and the third. I just tell you straight up when it happens. I'll show you when it happens. I'll show you the good, the bad, you know, whatever. There'll be a day where I'll show you where it's a good day and I'll just put a little quick review on how good it can get because it is pretty damn good. Fast, responsive. You just saw it yourself when I read. Uh, now I'm getting these little pink marks that keeps coming up. While I was just talking to you guys, I started getting these little pink dots. It, weird shit happens with this. Is it weird enough for me to not fuck with it? No, not at all. Like, this is just one of those weird days. But those weird days come, like, I've had this since November. And um, I've had three or four weird days since. Hey, hey, see. Give me these little fucking pink marks. I don't know what the hell those are. So I'm going to reboot it one more time just to see if I can get rid of those pink marks. Because I think, again, these glitches that it gives you, it's totally only because this is a beta project. They need to market it as such. And I'm down. You know what I'm saying? I'm really down for it. But just, you know, call it what it is. It's this, uh, the Mac Mini. And... To be honest with you, I think that, um, and I, I probably could have cut this video down way longer, but I'm just ranting again. Um, but you already got my review. I think it's a great product. If you can wait, wait for the M2. Um, I have the Mac Mini um, spec'd out to the 16 gig, uh, 250 gigabyte, because I use a Lacey hard drive that's down there somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Uh, the Lacey hard drive. Um, also using this tofu, I think it's called tofu extender. I know the people are using the, um, I forgot the name of the other thing that they're using that's mad expensive. This shit was like $120. Um, so I can have extra ports and what have you. Um, and this is 16 gig. This is, it, it works. It works great 94% of the time, you know? And then the rest is just the fact that it's beta. They are not marketing as such, but I think that they should. I think they'll get more people willing to, but what people are doing is they're they're listening to other people's reviews, like they'll listen to mine, or they'll say whatever they have to say about mine, but they'll listen to other people's reviews and then base their opinions on that. I think that's wrong. I think you should base your opinion on the fact that it's a beta product, it works 94% of the time, and those times where it doesn't work, you just got to reboot it. Literally, that's is exactly that's that's usually the fix. Sometimes you have to reboot it twice, you know, and boom, comes back up. Everything is good. Everything's great. And you won't have a problem for months. You won't have a problem for days. You know, sometimes you probably get to the point where you're so comfortable with it. You won't think you're going to experience a problem. But the whole point is, if you put it in the back of your mind, like I did, when I first experienced my first issue, my first issue was it wasn't reading my Lacey drive, um, my hard drive. And I called uh, Lacey and I, I troubleshot with them. And when I told them, like, it's funny because I spoke to the person and I didn't tell them that I had the uh, Mac Mini M1 until at the end or towards the end. And he was like, oh, shoot, you know, we've heard that this happened before. And they said, what you might want to do is take it off of the extended um off of the extended uh, port thing 
I always forget the, what to call it. And um, you put it, plug it directly into the Mac and you should be fine. Did that and I've been fine since. I've actually took it off and I've plugged it into the Tofu uh, as well. And it still works fine too. But the fact that it fucked up makes me a little, you know, feel a little sketchy about it. So I plug it back directly um, via USB-C. So uh, my final conclusion is if you can wait for the M2, wait for the M2. You probably experience less problems um, than a lot of these guys are experiencing. If you can't, you don't feel guilty about it. You, It's still good. It's still a great. It, I mean, this shit moves, man. Like you, you got, like I said, you guys just saw I rebooted the joint. And it came back up. I was going to actually stop the video, but it came right back up. So, um, did I show my password? I don't think I showed my password. Uh, so, like I said, it's it's worth it to me. For me, it, it serves its purpose. This is my everyday computer. It used to be this. Um, and then I, I immediately tried this out. And I was like, the first week's going to make or break my decision. And I, I loved it. And I still love it. You know, so my my rant is more towards the problems when I experience it, but for the most part, it's it's a go. You know, so M1, good, could be great if you advertise as beta. The second you guys start advertising this motherfucker as beta, it goes from good to great. That's my honest review. You know, I I'm without any being influenced by anything or what have you. I, I'm not editing this. I'm just straightforwardly putting this the fuck out. This is my straight review. All right. Because I think I see a lot of other reviews and people are conflicted and they're showing their com their confliction on the videos. And they're saying one week, they're saying, oh, shit is great. And then two weeks later, they're, they're bashing the shit out of it. Call it what it is. And then your mindset will be a little bit different. All right. Peace, guys.